Hi. The birth this January of one of Australia's largest and most influential biomedical outfits is a really big deal. And that's why I'm excited to welcome you to the new Faculty of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences at the University of Queensland. So what we've done is to combine five leading hospital-based research centres and institutes with Australia's largest medical school and two of UQ's powerhouse schools in population health and biomedical sciences. It's this critical mass and focus we need to address the big picture challenges of this century. Things like cancer, ageing, lifestyle diseases, like prevention, like value for money healthcare. Did you know that already this century we've had a quarter of medical discoveries? That's in the last 13 years alone. And with the incredibly rapid pace of change and advance, in genetic sequencing technology, in imaging, in drug discovery, this looks set to exceed 50% in well under the next 10 years. So to respond to this, we've created a medically focused faculty with an alpha to omega positioning right across the translational health space. We'll have a footprint that extends from basic biomedical science laboratories through to clinical medicine and hospital networks and population health outcomes benefiting the community. And with this, we can build on our cutting edge R&D to nurture our medical researchers of the future and support our leading clinical academics as they tackle the complex medical problems of global health challenges. Equally important in our mission is education. That is high quality, technology driven, research informed learning for doctors for public health and for biomedical scientists. In essence, training tomorrow's leaders today. So while the MBS faculty may be new, our vision to inspire, innovate and lead change in medical discovery and learning is well advanced. Now we'll continue to build on our strong links with clinical partners, academic partners and government partners along with international collaborators. And a couple of examples of things coming online this year are the multimodality Hurston Imaging Research Facility and the new academic and research facility at the $1.5 billion Lady Salento Children's Hospital. So I'll finish by saying that as Executive Dean, I feel really truly honoured to be leading MBS at this time. Whether you're a student, one of our staff or clinical title holders, a collaborator, donor, or simply an interested onlooker, thank you for being part of this journey. So take your time to look around at the MBS faculty's recent achievements in our first ever e-news. Thank you.